We're here chatting with Omar Qasim of Jado Pado, a Dubai-based electronics retail site. Omar, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. So um, at Jado Pado, you guys have managed to be pretty successful um, selling electronics in Abu Dhabi and Dubai using your own logistics solution. Um, how have you taken the news that Mizado has closed? Um, I, I think we saw it as an opportunity. Um, at the same time, uh, it's a little bit of a shame uh, because we feel that any players in the market at the moment are helping um, you know, consumers understand online. Uh, they're helping consumers understand e-commerce and essentially allowing them to come online and have those experiences and, uh, and, and actually educating the market. Uh, but at the same time, I think for us, um, we feel that we're in a sustainable business at this point uh, and you know, we sort of see the market expanding a little bit uh, uh, and we'll sort of take things from that. The problem possibly with um, uh, the, the couple of things that, that I saw that maybe went wrong with Mizado was um, one was I think when we were sort of looking at the uh, at, at their cost structure and sort of trying to understand what sort of um, uh, you know money was being paid to employees and so on we found that they were generally hiring people at, uh, at well above market rates generally I'm not, I'm not talking for every function but for a lot of function, and, and I think the um, I think you pointed out to that venture village piece where uh, you know that article basically said the same thing about their Turkey operations. Um, I think we found that to be very much the case out here. So I think their cost structure was possibly a little bit higher than than we thought it should have been. I think the team size was fairly large. I think the margins were very tight. Um, you know, but when we were looking at some of their pricing, uh, there were a lot of products where they were some of the faster moving stuff they were selling them at cost. Um, and then when you throw on the, the free shipping uh, to the GTC and so on, there wasn't actually money being made on, on some of the orders going out. Um, so I think that that maybe contributed to it. But um, I, I think, again, this is probably a rocket thing rather than a, than a market-based thing, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there are, there are a few factors. I think they tried to go out, go out a little bit too quickly. Um, but I was, I was a bit surprised that they didn't give it more time. I think six months is, uh, is, is, is not enough, in my opinion. I see. And are you looking to adjust your strategy at all now that one of your major competitors has dropped out? No, I don't think so. I think our strategy from day one has been um, so we actually hold the whole product that we sell in inventory. Um, so that's been one of the key differences between ourselves and our competition. Um, uh, as well as we essentially have our own delivery fleet, we essentially um, uh, ship product direct to our customers ourselves. So I think I don't think we need to change. Um, that's something that's working for us because we're going to get product out to customers uh, in an hour in a few days. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll we'll continue on this path. Great. And does the exit of Living Social um, how does that affect your perception of the e-commerce market? Yeah, I think again, it's a little bit of a shame that the only global player that was operating in the Middle East has decided to take an exit. Um, I personally don't think it's due to market conditions. I think it's more to do with um, possibly uh, situations within, within Living Social itself. Um, but at the same time, I think um, you know, when Godam first started and before they were bought out, Living Social, they were essentially allowing um, and sort of helping consumers again to, uh, to sort of be educated and you know, allow them to have those first experiences online. Uh, with, with simple coupon purchases, uh, that, was, that was essentially leading on to large product purchases in the future. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit of a shame, but again, uh, I think opportunity falls uh, for possibly other players to come into the market and, and sort of take that. Step up. Great. Well, Omar, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you.